Okay, so here's unit four. Everything is listed in order. Uh, let's talk about the 3D paint. Click on this. And you'll need to brainstorm three different puzzle cubes in this template. All right, so what I'm going to do is just copy the image. I'm going to hit the Windows button down here. I'm going to type in paint. Let's go to paint 3D. Yours might look a little different. Hit the paste button. Very nice. All right, so paintbrush. Let's move me up a little bit. And I'm just going to start off with blue. And we can only use five mm -hmm. colors here. Each color has to be used on at least four cubes and maybe as much as six. So to get to 27, I'm going to do five, 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 six, and six. I'm just going to start with one color. I'm just going to start in a corner and I'm going to make a shape. So that's one, two, three, four, five. You can see how these are touching. Now, if I did a six one up here, I couldn't physically build that because it wouldn't be touching. Think of this as like slices of bread or something. So I'm going to undo that. All right, so one, two, three, four, five. All right, next color. One, two, three, four, five. Check. Next color. One, two, three, four, five. All right, next color. One, two, three, four, five, six, and last color. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I can double check myself before moving on. Do I have five colors and only five colors? Yes. If I look at each color, are all the cubes touching? Yeah, imagine this like three slices of bread when you put them together. This is going to touch that. Perfect. All right, so what I do next is I move this over here. So I have the front, I have the top, and I have the right. So one, two, three. Front, 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 top, and just going to color these in real quick. Okay, is that all I need? I got to write, I got to write. All right, let's move on to yellow. So yellow goes here. And that's going to be blue. And here. Okay, so on the right side, on the front, and on the top. All right, what color is next? Well, let's do blue. Blue. One, two, one, two, all right, what's next? Red, red is on the top. Red, red, and on the side, and the top view here, one, two, three, and on the right view here, and down there. Right. And finally, green, all right, one, two, one, two. Okay, and everything is matching at this point. Everything's good. So we need to save this. We're going to go to menu, save as image. Where do we want to save this? We need to find this somewhere where we can, or put it somewhere we can find it again. So everybody should have a folder called IED under documents. If not, you can make one by right-clicking, going to new and folder, and then naming it. Okay, I already have one. I'll put it in here, and 
I made another folder called Puzzle Cube. You can see I have a few templates. So let's call this period two puzzle cube. Enter. All right. So once I have three of these and I know which one I'm going to build, then I can go back here and you guys will have a little submit button here. Let's see here. Student view. Start assignment. Upload file. Choose file. Then I can go back to my documents. IED. Close the cube. And pretty easy. I hit open and add another file. 